We're going to continue overnight with what happened. George Floyd's six-year-old daughter, six years old, talking about her dad for the first time. Eva Pilgrim spoke with the little girl and her mother, and this as a new investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department is launched. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, Gianna and her mother want the world to know the George Floyd that they knew, the man who spoiled his daughter and moved here to Minnesota so he could better provide for his family. What do you want people to know? Mm, kind of I miss him. Overnight, George Floyd's six-year-old daughter, Gianna, talking about her dad. What was your dad like? He played with me. She didn't have to play with nobody else because daddy was going to play with her all day long. Gianna's mother, Roxy Washington, saying that George loved his daughter. He was always a great dad. I mean, that was his baby. He loved his little girl. Roxy found out about George's death when she got a phone call. She then got on the Internet and saw the video. I watched it only for a moment because I was like, I can't believe, I couldn't believe that somebody was doing him like that. I wish I could have been there to help him. How did you explain what happened to your daughter? I didn't. But Gianna knew something was wrong. She said, I hear them. I hear them saying my daddy's name. <laughs> And I told her, she doesn't know what happened. I told her that her dad died because he couldn't breathe. As for little Gianna, she may not know exactly what happened to her father, but she does know that everyone is talking about her dad. That changed the world. At just six years old, all she has left of her dad are memories. This baby book, part of the documentation of her father's love. Daddy stayed every night. I know what I want to be when I grow up. What? I want to be, I want to be, um, uh, a doctor. I want to take care of people. Her mother, devastated. George will never get to see her chase those dreams. My heart is broke for my baby. It's broke. That's why you're seeing people in the streets and people demanding changes is because now people are waking up because they've seen this too many times. Do you think it'll change? Now it is, definitely. And the change starting here, the governor of Minnesota announcing that the state is launching a civil rights investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department. He says it is the first of many steps ahead to restore trust with the black community. Robin. More, more steps to come. Thank you for sharing that, Eva, so very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.